close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to put aside all other concerns right now. Let that state of your mind right now be your one concern. When the Buddha taught contentment, he taught it with regard to things outside. As long as the material situation is good enough to practice, it's good enough. But as for the state of your mind, he says, you can't just stay content with whatever comes up. Because you realize that if you go with certain thoughts, it bends the mind in their direction. You'll be more and more inclined to think in those ways. So if you're thinking thoughts of greed, aversion, delusion, they bend the mind in their direction. And when the mind is bent in that direction, it starts making choices that are bent as well. So you want to bend it in another direction, in a direction that's more straightforward. Thoughts of being skillful, thoughts of not giving in to sensual desire, thoughts of not wanting to harm anybody, not wanting to see anybody suffer. Those are good thoughts. Even though there's a bend to them, it's a good bend. So it's not that things that come into the mind don't have any consequences. The fact that they come into the mind is a result of past actions. But what you're doing, what you're doing with them right now, that has consequences. So look at what you're doing. And try to hold on to the breath. You don't have to chase the other thoughts out of the mind. Think of them as being committee members who are often in another corner of the room. They're talking among themselves. But you don't have to get involved in their conversation. And after a while, when they see that you're not interested, they'll start going away. That way you have the room to yourself. And that's the situation you want. You want to be in charge. And John Chai has an image. He says it's like having one chair in the entire house, and you're sitting in the one chair. And everybody else in the house is there at your pleasure. They don't get to sit down. If you tell them to go, they have to go. Tell them to stay, they can stay. You're the one in charge. Make sure they don't take the chair. And then you're going to be safe. Because it's only right that you be in charge of your thoughts, and not the case that the thoughts be in charge of you. And give the mind a good place to stay with the breath. It gives you a place to step out of the thoughts so you can see them more objectively, sense where they're coming from, where they're going, and choose to take on only the thoughts and ideas that go in a good direction. This is where in the pre present moment, because we want to see clearly what's being decided in the present moment, because it has an influence not only now, but on into the future. And you want to make sure that influence is good. <clears throat>